Hey, what is shaking, homie? So today, I'm just going to do a quick little video with my Artillery Sidewinder X1. And I just wanted to show you guys how I like to print TPU on here. So this is my first 3D printer that I've had that is direct drive and able to handle high temp filaments at the same time. So it can print, it can print TPU and pretty much all flexible filaments. You can see this filament, it's really, really flexible. Um, this is Tron, Tronxy or Tron XY, however you want to say that. Um, standard TPU, I think it was like under, it was under 20 bucks a roll, pretty cheap. I'll put a link down below, but I have had really good results. Um, I had a really crappy roll of some clear TPU and it just did not print that well. So I switched over to this and um, I've been tweaking the settings here and there. I'm still kind of learning, but so far I've had some pretty good success. Um, I've printed these tadpole fishing lures. I printed these. Uh, I printed a little thing for my bathtub, which was kind of like my uh, test. This one turned out pretty bad, honestly, but um, it was a good starting point so I knew what settings to change. So um, I'll show you guys some time lapses of just like printing these little guppy, uh, like, you know, little lures, little, I mean, they're, and it's cool, too, they, so hopefully they have, like, action in the water and everything, um, we'll see, um, and this tadpole one uh, also looks really nice, so I printed a couple of these, I'm going to give a couple to my brother, we're going to do a video in the future of trying to fish with these, so stay tuned for that, um, but yeah, so while those are time, lap, time lapsing, I'm going to go through and tell you um, the setting changes I did, um, these are all in Cura, but you could use these settings in basically your other slicer programs. It would be the same thing. But um, if you're using Cura, here's what I have found um, pretty good results with. Um, okay, so I I normally like to print PLA at 0.2 millimeters. Um, you know, most of the stuff I print isn't like super fine detail where I need to go really low. But you're going to need to drop the layer height. I've printed these at 0.175. It's kind of like a good mix between... You know, not too big, not too small, but you might want to drop it even smaller, like all the way down to 0.1. Um, in general, TPU, you're going to have to really slow everything down. There's no rushing uh, 3D printing, uh, especially in TPU. I mean, you got to really drastically change a lot of these settings. Okay, so um, I'll also put all these down below if you want to look at the list down below. And I'll put a little picture right there of a screenshot of my um, settings. Okay, so we got the uh, layer height at 0.175. Um, the initial layer height, though, I still keep that at 0.2. I want a thick first layer. Um, also, to my line width, I bumped it up to 0.6. Its default is 0.4, so I bumped that up a little bit. As well as the top bottom, I bumped that up a little as well. Um, as you can see, like on this first thing I printed, I don't know, I'm probably too far away, but it didn't, I don't know, the top and bottom just didn't work that good. So then I changed the settings a little bit. Uh, and then, like, these tadpoles printed a lot more solid on the top and bottoms, uh, and, you know, etc. Okay, so um, you're going to want to do that. Um, my wall thickness, I kept, it, or no, I changed that to 1.4. Normally, I like to print that at 1.2 for PLA. Um, my line count, I put it at 3. So, I've got three lines of walls. Um, what else is there? Top layers, I do four top, or four top layers. Bottom thickness of 0.48. <coughs> What else here is important? Uh, that's not important. Extra skin wall count, I put one. Some of these uh, you won't have on your settings. Okay, then uh, very important, you want to enable ironing. So ironing is when the print is done, with the nozzle hot, it goes over the top of everything and just smooths it out. For, te for everything, this actually makes a pretty good difference, and I like doing this on most of my models, but especially on TPU, okay? So then, um, when you're printing flexible filaments, if you want it to be more squishy, you gotta have like a lower um, infill. So like, um, you know, these I didn't. Pr I printed them at like 20, and they're squishy a little bit, but not much. Um, but these, these I can bend them in half. These were printed at only 10% infill. So if you want it to be like squishier and able to move more, print it at a lower infill, because um, otherwise, even though it's a flexible filament, it, I mean, it'll still be fairly solid. Um, I like to print at 220 degrees on this printer. 230, I was noticing the prints were feeling more hard. Um, and when I printed it a little lower at 220, the finished end results um, had more of a plasticky feel. I noticed that a lot on like the tails of these tadpoles. Um, the build plate, um, I have it at 60, and so far that seems 
pretty good. 60 seems uh, like a good number. The flow though, normally I print for PLA, I print the flow at like 96%. I had to bump it up to 102. So you're gonna have to bump up uh, that a little bit. Okay, most people also, when they print flexibles, they don't use retraction. And I tried that and I was getting, you know, some over extrusion and you know just like some stringing and normal stuff that happens when you don't have retraction on and I decided you know why not why not try it with retraction so then I actually put retraction on and these tadpoles turned out way better so I'm gonna say keep your retraction on I bumped the speed down a little bit though um, I don't have the retraction speed as high my retraction count is 90 my retraction distance is only one speed 35 and uh, yeah that's it and once again, these will all be down below in the, in the description. Okay, now here's where it's really important, the print speed. You're going to have to really lower the print speed on here. Um, I'm printing at only 25 millimeters a second. I know, it seems crazy. Normally, I run this thing at like 60 or 70 for PLA. So, you know, 25 is really low. But you might be able to go a little higher than that. I printed in TPU also this cover, this, this cover, and then uh, these wheels. And all these things I printed faster because there's no real detail there, you know, whatever. I think, yeah, I think I printed these all at like 35. But yeah, still, you got to crank it down. You can't print TPU fast. It just doesn't work like that. Um, combing, I left combing on all. Um, my initial layer speed, I put it at 12.5. Travel speed, 120. Infill speed, also 25. Uh, cooling, leave cooling on. Um, supports okay for printing TPU. I can't get supports to work. They it just doesn't work. They don't. I mean, maybe if I like composed them better on the build platform on my slicing program. But so far, you don't want to print objects that need supports really with TPU. You want to try to put place it on the bed the best it can, so it's not going to need supports. Um, that's honestly probably going to be your best bet. Or add supports in a program like Mesh Mixer that will be like ones you can easily like chop off like tower and tree supports maybe if you do those manually maybe that'd be okay but yeah just the flexible on those really thin strands doesn't work very good I was having not having any success with it we'll put it that way um, build plate adhesion I was doing brim for a bit like when I did the first tadpole and then I did none uh, just because it was a pain to rip it off and everything and you know what it held to the bed Perfect. I used a little hairspray. That's it. Uh, I did no no build plate adhesion selected, and it was fine. Surface mode. I kept it on normal, and um, use adaptive layers. I checked. I also checked our unchecked infill before walls. I like to print the walls before the infill, so the outside is smoother. Um, but yeah, that was really it. So basically, the rule of thumb is you got to slow down your prints if you want to print in TPU. You're going to want to have it closer to ABS temperatures on the hot end, but keep the bed around your PLA temperatures. Um, and really, um, you want uh, to extrude more. It, it's harder for the, it's harder to push this stuff through because it's like a wet noodle, you know? So you got to have the extrusion multiplier or your flow rate higher than you normally would for PLA. So basically just slow it down, pump more through it. Um, and hope for the best. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's really, um, this is my first machine I've had that I've been able to print TPU in. And another reason why I just love this printer so much. I've done a full review on this. It can handle every type of material I've thrown at it. I have a full review. You can click right there to watch it. Uh, but yeah, so Artillery Sidewinder X1, I'm really liking this. Um, if you want to buy this printer or anything, I'll put links down below if you want to get on Amazon or AliExpress or uh, I'll put as many places as I can find. Um, but yeah, huge, huge fan of this. Uh, this was sent to me from them for the video review. So thank you so much. And uh, if you're having trouble printing with TPU, uh, try this. If you're still having trouble, drop a comment. I'll try to get to it. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.